within the last week I posted a video entitled DoorDash Dirty Tactics up onto my YouTube channel now I've got an amazing response to that particular video and I want to thank all you who can relate for watching it if you know you know that's why I've chosen to continue on with that saga and another video entitled DoorDash Dirty Tactics Part 2 stay tuned welcome back guys as a lot of you know I posted up a video over a week ago called DoorDash Dirty Tactics and we're going to continue on with the trend and the saga entitled DoorDash Dirty Tactics Part 2 so that with that being said let's jump right into it as you all know or at least some of you the ones that do DoorDash DoorDash recently instituted a DoorDash rewards program in hundreds of markets across the United States this past weekend they added their program to 200 more new market areas and as we get into tomorrow which is Wednesday the date of this video they will be adding another 200 markets for this DoorDash rewards program now here's the thing guys DoorDash was on a certain platform before this ever came about they always had a tendency of using certain words that would satisfy them and while we're reading the information they're putting out there we're looking with a blank stare and saying huh what what do they mean they word things that are comfortable for them and not for you remember guys we're independent contractors we're not employees we're not w-2 workers let's get that straight DoorDash is probably one of the only gig apps that keeps on stressing certain factors to make you feel like you're an employee and if you do DoorDash guys act like you're an independent contractor because if you act like an employee you might as well go take one of those w-2 jobs you know which ones I mean all the ones you pick up from all the restaurants you go to and have wait times and pick up from they're all hiring the other factor is guys all you guys out there who think you're chasing after top dasher well I got news for you when the DoorDash Rewards program hits your market area, Top Dasher is gone. It no longer exists. So stop the craziness. There's no Top Dasher. Also, if I may add, DoorDash started out with this program. It's been in my market area for over close to two months now. When it first started out, you had to have 50% acceptance rate to get in the silver that allowed you high priority orders you had to have 70 to get in the gold which allowed you even better high priority paying orders and 90 percent for the platinum which allowed you to not only get those highest paying orders but to dash whenever without scheduling well here's the news guys and here's the kicker DoorDash now turns around after this program's only been out for a while in my market area and they raised everything by 10 percent now the 50 has to be 60 percent for the silver you must have an 80 percent to get in the gold and you've got it right close to 100 percent to fit in that platinum status DoorDash is out of their minds 
out of every 10 trips you may get one or two good paying trips out of 10 and that's a fact guys basically DoorDash is saying take all these low paying high mileage trips or else you will decline in your acceptance rate now knowing this months and months before it hit my market area I was at a 96 97 percent in my acceptance rate through the course of the next few months DoorDash started rolling out all these garbage trips and you know which one I'm talking about and you know if you're taking them or not and I'm going to get to that in a little bit but what happened guys was they started sending out slews of garbage trips I may have had to put my acceptance rate up but then they sent me in another seven or eight I just could not take because I don't fall for bullshit and yes guys that's what it is bullshit 225 for 9.1 miles three dollars and fifty cents for 11.2 miles come on guys that is insanity why would you take that crap just thinking you're gonna get somewhere with DoorDash forget about that acceptance rate and this is what I wanted to really say you guys all out there that are accepting this bullshit where there's virtually nothing in it for you no freaking tip whatsoever and don't fall for that hundred percent tips guaranteed because when you're taking one of them there's none in it so how are you gonna find a tip so all you guys that are taking that kind of stuff are affecting all us who are really trying to make something who have been doing this over four and a half years like myself by you taking those trips you're saying to DoorDash oh it's okay to give me a 225 dollar trip for 10.1 miles oh it's okay for you to give me a four dollar trip going 14 miles come on guys by you saying that you accept that trip you're letting DoorDash know it's okay to send that garbage in and it's not no one can make anything on that now I will tell you that I never do strictly just DoorDash I'm a multi-apper I've been doing Uber Eats just a couple months shy of few months shy of five years and I'm a multi-apper I do Uber Eats DoorDash and Grubhub or I may have Walmart Spark running along with that I may have Instacart running that or a number of other apps that I do I've done them all I'm out here to make my goal every day or better and by you guys accepting low paying high mileage trips you're telling them it's okay and it's not here's the other thing guys I get an email and remember DoorDash words certain things to bring comfort to their own selves and not you remember none of these gig companies care about you as a driver and they'll pull whatever dirty tactics that they can and DoorDash is the prime example of what pulling dirty tactics is all about they send me an email saying to me yesterday your Dasher account is at risk of deactivation due to low completion rate now we're on the completion rate they're telling me I David we recently notified you that completion rate requirements were changing and to remain active as a Dasher the minimum now is 90 percent we under things stand things come up and there are times when you can accept an order or need to unassign even with this change you're still able to unassign one in every 10 deliveries based on your last 100 deliveries your completion rate is close to or below 90 percent what are they talking about I'm at a 96 
I just verified it and checked it this morning. I'm not in the rewards program because I told you I was at a 96-97% acceptance rate months ago. And had they brought that program about then, I would have been right into platinum. But no, months after that went on of total garbage. I've got too much smarts, too much intelligence for them to keep insulting me and treating me like an employee, warning me about this or warning me about that. We are independent contractors, for God's sake. Get that straight, guys. Get it straight. DoorDash needs to get it straight. Me? I don't fall for their dirty tactics. I've seen it. I've called it. It's been happening all along, guys. Wake up. There's no other gig apps, period, that pull the kind of repetitive crap that DoorDash does. They go on to tell me about the completion rate and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. For additional information, you can review Section 3.4, Contracted Services. They're reminding you of what you agreed to, even though we're not employees. Seems too weird to me, guys. Now, if I was a W-2 employee... I would expect, if I wasn't doing something right, to be told that I have to step it up or that I'm not doing it proper and being instructed on how to go about the situation. But I'm not, by any means. I'm an independent contractor doing the gig, gig apps in the gig economy. And this strikes me the wrong way, guys. And it should you also. They're telling me in this email, what is completion rate? And i got to remind you that this is the third time that I've gotten this email. And I'm looking at my, looking at my ratings, and I'm a 95. Now, grant you, Last Wednesday, I was at 28% in my acceptance rate. But this is talking about completion rate. They've got their facts all wrong, guys. And they always do. They, th they say things to try to appease you. They do whatever to try to get you. And keep you under their thumb. But discipline you. Or send you threatening messages or emails. When things aren't up to snuff. If you're not seeing it, guys, it's time to wake up. There's no other gig apps that ever do this. There's no other gig apps you have to go on and schedule or ask for permission to do. There's not one other gig app that I have to go into a certain area and work a zone and be afraid to go out of the zone Oh, unless I'm on a trip with that particular gig app known as DoorDash. There's so much controversy and so much drama with surrounding DoorDash that it's not even funny. You don't see any of the other gig apps floating around on TikTok getting criticized. People acting so dramatic and calling it door trash. The latest one is Dead Dash. So I ask you guys, is DoorDash really dead dash? Is that what is becoming in your market area? Leave it in the comments below. Do you feel DoorDash is now dead dash? Do you strictly do DoorDash? I can't fathom in my wildest thoughts how you ever make your money just strictly doing DoorDash. We're in a multi-app gig economy where if you're not doing at least three apps, you're doing it wrong. And I've always said it. There's a right way and a wrong way to do it. 
DoorDash has now been found tracking people. They've got this new thing on the app where they are now doing insights, letting you know when you're heartbreaking. Do you like that, guys? They get you the option to turn it off. But here's what gets me, guys. They never asked for permission to do it in the beginning. And if they're tracking you with your braking while you're driving, what else are they tracking with you? And are you really turning that off to get out of it so you don't see it anymore? Do you think it's possible DoorDash is really spying on you, tracking you, trying to see what other apps you're doing, trying to see what your daily activities are, whether you have the app on or not? That's against our rights, guys. And some main companies that you could work for across America wouldn't even do that to you. Or would they? We are independent contractors, guys, and I will keep saying it. If you guys want a W-2 job, you need to become an employee of any of the variety of places that you pick food up from or do a red card order at. They will gladly hire you if you want the job bad enough. But remember and keep in mind, you will be told when to be at work, when to get off, what to do, and all those fun, fun things that probably led you somehow into the gig economy. I don't know. We're all here for a reason, guys. Just a thought. Can you imagine a really, really good week on DoorDash where no one that's dashing would accept those low paying high mileage trips and we put our foot down and said no thank you we won't stand for it anymore we won't accept those because there's nothing in it for us what do you guys thinks in a trip paying four dollars going 15 miles I don't get it guys and I never will and I'll never fall for that why are you put it in the comments below do you think by just taking every freaking trip that comes along the pike it's gonna turn you into somebody special with DoorDash <laughs> that's funny because number one, DoorDash doesn't care about you. No gig app cares about you. They're just trying to milk you for everything they can get you for. And if you're doing what I just said and falling for doing all that crap that they're trying to dish out to you, you know who you are. For the love of God, guys, why? Knock it off. It just irks me. It literally pisses me off. And for the life of me, I cannot understand why you're doing that. Because it's getting you nowhere fast. If you're one of those ones running around out here and you strictly do DoorDash, oh no, I got to get my AR rate up. Oh no, I dropped three points on my AR three percentage points don't fret it guys you're not going to get any more special out of being on the top tier as you are where I'm at this is a wake up call guys by all you guys taking that low paying high mileage that's right bullshit you're ruining everything for the rest of us who are really trying to make something solid and consistent so DoorDash gives you the option to turn the tracking off but hell 
They never asked for permission to put it on there to begin with. And is it possible to tracking us in other ways or spying on us in our daily lives with our smartphone? So, anything's possible, guys. Uber Eats doesn't do this. Grubhub doesn't do this. Instacart don't do this. Walmart Spark don't do this. And a number of other apps. I probably got like 16, 17 apps that I've worked doing gig work, and they none of them do it but DoorDash. The con controversy is always surrounding DoorDash. You call it what you want. Now, I don't never do strictly just DoorDash. I'm always doing Uber Eats, Grubhub, DoorDash. I might throw Walmart Spark on, Instacart. I'm trying to make the most out of my day to meet my goal. And that's right. Yeah, I set a goal again when I came out today, or it wouldn't be worth me doing it. And this was with all the apps that I've got running. My goal today, I'm hoping $130. If I make more, fantastic. If I come close, I'll keep grinding at it till I get there. But some days, I'll settle. Okay, I'll settle for this. I made 110 I made 120 I'm good. Without feeling like I'm greedy to get there. But grinding it out and getting as close as I can, in a lot of days, I'm way over. So, and I didn't get there just on DoorDash. Yesterday, or Sunday, let's use last Saturday. I had 11 Uber Eats trips. One good one off of DoorDash. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I don't have quite a few good trips every now and then off of DoorDash. I can't sit here and tell you that I haven't made my money, which is why I keep doing it, hoping that something will turn around to keep giving me those good trips. But it's not constant, guys. In the last two weeks, it's like one maybe two out of ten is good and the thing with trying to get your AR rate up guys seems like you take two steps forward one step back oh or is it one step forward two steps back for a lot of everyone and if this DoorDash rewards program isn't in your market area yet just wait you'll see what I'm talking about because everything I'm saying exists and is factual and as real as real it can be and if you know you know but if it's not in your market area yet guys just wait it's coming by the beginning of summer it'll be in every market area there's nothing fantastic about it there's nothing elaborate about it and it had only been in my market area close to two months and they've already bumped up the percentage points that you need to have by 10 percent 50 percent for the silver oh wait a minute now it's 60 come on guys DoorDash is all in for DoorDash and not you and not about you making that dollar amount that you need to be at every day if you aren't multi-apping at least three or four apps a day there's something wrong you're not getting there I see things all the time Facebook TikTok right just online if you pull up DoorDash and Dash or this and it this dasher did this and this dasher did that but you don't see uber eats drive, uber eats delivery driver did this or grubhub driver did this 
and it turns into some dramatic high falloy video and people are saying door trash now generating around YouTube a lot of gig economy drivers doing did dash videos because they believe that this new program is what's going to make DoorDash crash and I seem to think that's pretty right pretty righteous somewhere down the line I don't know what gives guys I don't know what it's gonna take but I will tell you one thing I'm in a very saturated oversaturated market area dashers galore I can go into McDonald's at any given time and five six dashers standing around one guy said to me the other day what are you doing I said picking up an Uber Eats oh is that all you do I said no I do DoorDash too I do Grubhub Walmart Spark Instacart just to name a few but I've done them all oh I says, you really making your money just on DoorDash alone? He said, no. Keep getting my acceptance rate up, and boom, they're knocking it back down. He said, I just sat here for, I sat in that spot over there for 45 minutes and watched 10 trips go by. I said, are you taking them? I do a lot of times, he said, but not, not, not today. He said, with the 10 trips and what they were paying, I wouldn't even have made $20, $30. That's unreal, guys. So, continuing on, continuing on with this trend, this big controversy surrounding DoorDash, as it always is on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm going to keep detailing, compiling, and giving you the facts. You guys can form your own opinion. Whatever you got to say, leave it in the comments below. If you want to share something about your market area, put it in the comments below. But in my market area, guys, I could just never do DoorDash solely alone and make anything in a week's time that would amount to anything which is why I, I multi app and if you're not I'll say it again if you're not multi apping at least three apps you're not getting there you think what you want like I said you form your own opinions and let me know because I'd like to know I'd like to discuss it also, if there's a certain type of video you'd like me to do, let me know, and I'll get on it. And I'm enjoying you guys' comments. I'm enjoying everything about it. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. Hit the like and alert bell for any new videos. And for all my new subscribers who are really helping my channel grow, and vibing with my content, I appreciate you more than I could tell you. We got Uber Eats running today. We got Grubhub. And yes, DoorDash will go on in a couple minutes here. Because we are scheduled. It's the only way I can get on. I scheduled yesterday and it booted me off. Because I got on two Uber Eats trips and a Grubhub trip and they paused my app by the time I went to get back in couldn't get in came back to Monroeville and it was saying very busy in Monroeville it says David very busy in Monroeville if you'd like to dash now I, I was like I thought I was already dashing I was already on a shift but no they booted you off Uber Eats don't do that Grubhub don't do that Instacart don't do that they might check in with you to see if you're still there they don't boot you off I don't know guys 
DoorDash has a way of treating you like an employee, wording things for their own comfort, and not explaining to you the fine details. I don't know if you fall for that, but I sure as hell don't. What gives, guys? If everybody in my oversaturated market area would could accept and all that bullshit, we all might make something. And we all might get our acceptance rate out real quick. This program, it's terrible. It's the worst thing they could have ever done. It's a monopoly. DoorDash is a monopoly, and they're scamming you for everything they can get out of you. Anyhow, guys, I'm just glad we could talk. I'm glad that we had this time together, and I'm going to continue on with this trend, this whole controversy, and everything I see in my market area to keep you in the loop and bring you the news. And if you enjoy this whole thing on DoorDash, stay with me because I will be doing others. And if you vibe with this, and other content on my YouTube channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button, hit the like and alert bell for any more new videos. We'll see what happens, guys. A lot of this is all up to you guys. Either you take that crap or you deny it. But if you're one of them ones running around worrying about your AR rate and there's no other way for you, do what you got to do guys you're your own person form your own mind your own opinions your own thoughts but regardless I appreciate your time and I will be back with you again my name is Dave Renegade Gig Hustler take care